Welcome back. Another quick little update here on some progress. Not a whole lot this week. Had some travel, so I didn't get uh, as much as I had hoped. But we did get some more of the basic ground foam in here on this side of the, around the tunnel here. Again, that's just the, the initial covering prior to going with other, maybe some of uh, the hecky wild grass, static grass, silfor, model scene mats, etc. It's just the base color. To get that in I did come back in and like I said um, if you look at one of the product information updates I talked about the 3d parts there is that one catch basin that I made I kind of dug a little hole there and then made up a mini batch of some of the uh, shaper sheet plaster because it gives you a little bit more working time and then sets like a rock so that's in and obviously needs to be painted I put the manhole access here. I don't know if it would really be there or not, but I put it there just to have access. I realize it's kind of dark in there, but down by the other culvert coming out. But uh, once we get that painted and some ballast, dirt, and earth around it, it'll kind of look like it's access to get into that. Uh, I don't know if you would. Um, but by the way, no signals were harmed in the filming of this. It's just laid over so it doesn't get knocked over. So he, he's okay. He'll be back in service shortly. Over here by the pond, again, I put another little grate in there. You know, figuring out the water would, would flow here, and obviously you don't want it to come down and wash out the road we plan to have there. So that's a little catch there. I figured they put a little, little bit of concrete. I don't know if they would or not. I just had some extra, so I made it there. So that then, you know, flows down and then comes out of this. That's one of the other 3D printed parts, one of the concrete outlets. Again, I just cut a little notch in there and put some plaster around it. That's going to be obviously painted up so it uh, blends in. But that way, it just seemed to make a little bit more sense in terms of how the water would you know, kind of flow along there. It looks like a pretty sizable ditch. So it looks like it's going to have a little more active water flow in it. So that then gets it down into the, the pond area. And just to real briefly cover, if, if anyone's interested, this is what I'm using kind of for the basic stuff. Um, again, I'll put down either some Mod Podge, either full strength or diluted. Here's some diluted stuff left over from yesterday's work session for future work. So I'll mix that up, put it down, either you know full strength for on the hillier, more vertical areas, and then diluted, I don't know, two to one, three to one. I just, I just kind of, to be honest, kind of go by high. And you got your wet water and this is some leftover this is actually diluted tacky glue in the woodland scenic sprayer where it seemed to hold up I mean th this spraying the glue always seems to mess these sprayers up if you're not careful so you got to clean them real well but because one of these got real clogged when I had some of the tacky glue uh, diluted in it so wet water is fine that's just alcohol and water all right so I come back in real quick and I sprinkle on usually some of the Earth blend, Woodland Sinks Earth blend. That's kind of a nice earthy color. Then I'll kind of come back over with some of the burnt grass, and then whatever strikes my fancy. Um, there's other. There's the the fine earth. There's the weeds, which is a little bit brighter. So just to kind of highlight things, some of the soil in some more of the low lying areas, and along some of the more vertical areas. I also use the MP products. This is their fine turf. It's an autumn blend. That looks kind of good. Uh, their MP products, this is their fine earth. This is their green blend, which is a little bit brighter, so I don't use that quite as much. And then some of the MP products, moss green. Well, that's hard to see, but uh, trust me, it's uh, a moss type green. And then you kind of get a you know a look like that with it blended in. And then I'll, I'll get a piece of cardboard and put some foam on it and then try to puff it or blow it against the more vertical surfaces. And some of these rocks need to be cleaned up and whatnot. This all, yeah, I haven't even vacuumed this area yet. I'm gonna let it set. I found if you if you rush it and vacuum too quick, you'll take up your ground foam. So <laughs> gonna let that sit for a little while. Kind of see how it goes on the vertical area there. And I like having the that uh, darker olive green base seems to blend well because believe me, there's there's spots that are bare in there, but it's a little harder to notice. So that's just kind of a quick overview of kind of what we're doing. Want to get these painted up, maybe get some of the you know, initial foam around those today. 
and I would like to get back in and finish this back area here again because I want to get this area installed so I need to finish all this back stuff because that's real hard to get to so all right that's where we are for now hopefully show a little bit more later on we get some more of the uh, initial foam down and maybe even some of the second layer back there in the corner by the uh, branch line tunnel more to follow right, a little bit of a in progress shot here I'm working this back corner like I said to try to get that done so that I can fill in some stuff and work from the aisle so uh, there's some in progress you can tell me if you think it looks okay this is probably like layer 1b just above the ground foam probably gonna come back and do some more so let's take a look from the other side I'll just kind of show you the stuff that I'm using just for this uh, this area here so uh, be right back all right there's the area from the other side like I said I've used a couple of uh, scrap sill floor mats with mostly some of the hecky wild grass and uh, deco grass and whatnot just because it's easier because in the back there I figure for the most part when you come down and look at the layout you're gonna you know look at the front part here that as you kind of look around you just kind of kind of see that so it has to look acceptable but maybe not need to be super detailed so I'm using some of the hecky wild grass a couple different colors trying to keep things relatively consistent and then some of the more coarser stuff for some variety in and amongst it all so I still need to get obviously get bushes and some trees and whatnot back in there but just wanted to show this is pretty much the stuff I'm using here using the Elmer's craft bond spray adhesive I did buy some stuff from, from uh, Woodland C or from I'm sorry from Scenic Express but that stuff seems to work just as well and I have a couple other things here I might try Again, some of the other different mats and some of the the bushes from Pollock and whatnot. So just want to kind of show what we're doing here. Again, trying to get that back area done. A little bit of in progress work. Now I'm going to move over and try to work a little bit around these these rocks here and see what we can do with that. Just a little bit more in progress here. What I did back along the, the wall there, you can see I just got some trying to marry it into the background a little bit. And what I used in various spots, again, some of the Polak uh, high bushes. And if you, uh, I'll put a little uh, note here to click to the scenery number two update that shows all these items. But so I use this several of the different bushes, different colors there. I also put in some Woodland Scenics medium green fine leaf foliage which a lot of us I'm sure are aware of uh, used for making trees or pretty decent shrubs fine stuff and also some Hecky Hecky has some uh, similar to the Woodland Scenics uh, this is all stuff I had left over from the old layout you can see it's kind of a mix of colors but it's pretty nice stuff so I just kinda again put some of those Polak bushes in there and then put some of the Woodland Scenics foliage and the Hecky foliage just to kinda marry that into the backdrop there no trees yet but just uh, starting there got along there in front of the rocks and what I'm gonna try now if you see that little area right there this little area right here I'm gonna try this mat because it looks like it might be pretty nice there it's a little different this is one of the ones again from from Polak I purchased so I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can just put that right there that little area and then kind of blend it in and just just kind of curious so I want to see if I can make that work so uh, we'll give it a shot and let's see how it looks all right so there's that mat placed in and it worked in some additional more of the hecky stuff really just kind of blend it in a little bit along the back I gotta put some of the hecky shrubs and actually some of the sill floor filigran boucha just to kind of try it and see what it looks like there and one thing I'm not sure of yet if uh, it'd be interesting to see what people think and be brutally honest you know does it look too patchwork does it look too 
unrealistic, I guess. Um, the closer I am to it, the more it looks like this. It's too patchwork. and see all the different colors. I don't know if it makes sense. I, don't, I just don't know. <clears throat> when you stand here in the room and look at it from, from kind of back where I am, it, you know, okay. Looks okay. And there's still more to be added. There's still some more, obviously, shrubs, trees, some more stuff. But I just don't know. Like I was going to pull out that color, kind of that burnt orange color stuff there, because I just. But that, that way, let me let me kind of post this up, see what people think. Again, these are just the initial phases. If this looks crappy, or I shouldn't say crappy, if it looks like it could be done better, can always uh, change our work habits and how we do things moving forward. Because this is just one area. That, like I said, this is just kind of a background area that you know I just scan over it. I want it to look acceptable. But I want to get it done just so I can get it closed up. This is really the hardest area in the whole layout to reach. So if I can get this done, acceptable, I can always reach over to add trees and whatnot. That's not a huge deal. But to get in, and for example, next I'm going to ballast the track on the branch line there. And then try to get that done so I can uh, not be crawling around back there. So be interesting to see what people think uh, from the initial look here to me it kind of looks too patchworky but again once you get everything done maybe it'll all blend again maybe i'm just trying to be too smart and use too much of a variety of of colors and textures and it should be much more homogeneous some color they're always just some color right but uh, i don't know let me know what you think all right let me get in there and see if i can get that track ballasted that's always fun doing that stuff Ugh. but you gotta do it Okay, they're a little more over here at the pond area. Just the kind of the basic scenery, basic ground foam. Got my little inlet ditch cover installed there. So now when things run, they'll kind of come out of here. And then what I did was down here, you know, put a little little outlet there, so it kind of looks yeah, it looks reasonable. Go run in there, come into the ditch, come under the road. I didn't uh, do anything here yet. Just want to wait. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that. So, did a little more coloring on the rocks. I still want to hide that a little bit. But, got this area. And then, in up here, up to the tunnel. And just got the, like I said, it's just the initial ground foam in. So, then that kind of matches. Got this side as well. And then I did get, as you can see there, I got that little manhole cover installed and the associated, again, another lovely little grate there. So, so they're all installed. So, and then, like I said, that's the area. And cut one little piece of foam to go in there. Going to work on So Let me go to the other side real quick and uh, take one more look and then uh, we'll, wrap, we'll wrap it up for this week. Oops, on the way over to the other side. I got the road painted. I just painted it with some simple craft paints just to kind of give it a kind of a gray look. I'm not too concerned because we'll be able to certainly get it painted up and weather it up and, uh, and whatnot as we go along. But I did want to get that done. So I just did it up to here, and then up here, oh, it looks okay, it looks alright, we'll, we'll do some work on it, oops, <laughs> pay attention dude, we'll do some work on that road, but at least I wanted to get a bit of color on it, to see what it's like, and then in here I just started, what we decided to kind of do, uh, is bring the road, probably here it's going to come down a steep hill, so that so this will this will be more visible. Otherwise, it kind of would have been covered up. Plus, we've always wanted to model over uh, just outside of or just to the west of Lake City. There's a single single road underpass, the concrete portal it looks pretty cool. We're gonna put that here. So we're gonna do a little bit of work, and I need to get the rest of that finished up in the back. Got the ballast in. But I still need to go back there and do some work up there on the hill. You know, detail these rocks a little bit with some grass tufts and branches and and other you know goodies. But we need to get that done. Then get that in. Then we can work on this new road coming down. 
and that's going to come through here and probably match up this road will probably come up come down here tie into this road which will come around here and then eventually come to here where there's going to be another road underpass and then the road there old road that goes up to 97 so that's the plan for that so that is that and again i'm kind of curious what people think does it look okay you know and I'm, I'm not looking for praise i'm looking for honest feedback and does it look all right i i think it's okay it might be a little bit too patchworky but maybe not yeah, it's kind of hard to tell until you get trees in and other you know bushes and shrubs and whatnot but just i'm, I'm kind of curious what the people think because you know i'm trying to do fairly realistic Yosef Brondel type scenery, which I'm never going to get to, but uh, that is certainly the, the aspiration for us. So what do you think as the first start? I think i got a lot more work to do, but I wanted to get like one, let's say I'll call this level, you know, if the ground, if the basic ground foam is level one, this might be level two, and obviously you got level three, four, and whatever else to go on, but uh, at least a start, so I don't think it's terrible, but would like some feedback. What do you think? Does it look all right? Does it look too patchworky? Does it look too... Whatever, I don't know. Let us know. I'm curious. Again, not looking for praise. I'm looking for just, you know, if, if you saw that, do you go, oh, okay, that, that looks pretty realistic. Or do you go, oh, man, that's a that's a bunch of crap. So let us know in the comments, because I'm uh, It's the first part, and I can always change the techniques. And what we do going forward. Might let this kind of sit for a while and kind of grow on me and think about it but uh definitely do if you're interested in scenery and you know that we are let me leave us a comment i'm kind of curious what people think if we need to uh, adjust fire here as we move forward but that is our first set so that is uh that is it for this week so uh thanks for watching everyone have a great week and uh if things go well we'll be back next week